Do you remember work before the internet? We've come so attached to technology that most people can't even fathom what they did during their 9 to 5 before computers became mainstream. I know I can't. From automating internal processes to adopting cloud services, organizations are constantly embracing changes produced by technology. On the other hand, technology poses new challenges and threats to your organization as well. The internet has become an indispensable tool while also becoming an attractive hunting ground for criminals. Every year, more than 155 million personally identifiable records become exposed in data breaches in the U.S. alone. And in 2019, the number of cybercrime incidents surpassed 31,000 cases worldwide. In the same year, the global number of data breaches with confirmed data loss rose to almost 4,000. The average cost of data breaches reaches new heights every year as well. The new current estimate tops more than $8.5 million, and U.S. companies are the most targeted organizations of cyber attacks. Because data breaches are so costly and U.S. companies have a big target on their back, is your cybersecurity up to par? If you don't know the answer to that question, that's okay. That's why, as an organization, you need to follow cybersecurity risk assessment checklists. Your sensitive data is likely already facing threats and vulnerabilities, so you must identify those and fix them before a breach happens. To identify threats, improve your cybersecurity framework, and master risk management, you should follow a well-thought-out cybersecurity risk assessment checklist. Hi everyone, I'm Matt from eTactics, and today I'm going to talk about why you should have a cybersecurity risk assessment. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. While you're down there, hit that alert bell icon next to it as well, so when we post new helpful content, you get notified. Risk assessments exist to identify, estimate, and prioritize risks to organizational operations and assets. These risks result from the operation and use of information systems. Risk assessments are a business concept. So, in other words, you first have to think about how your organization makes money, how your employees and assets affect profitability, and what risk could result in monetary losses. Once you identify all of these things, you should think about how to enhance your IT infrastructure. This will reduce the risk that could lead to a loss for your organization. Basic risk assessments boil down to only three factors. The importance of the asset at risk, how critical the threat is, and how vulnerable the system is to that threat. By using these factors, you can assess the risk and calculate the likelihood of money lost by your organization. Although risk assessments are about logical constructs, not numbers, you can think of it in terms of a formula. Risk equals asset times threat times vulnerability. If you'd like to learn more about cybersecurity risk assessments, reach out to eTactics. And you already made it this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below.